Legislator Chang Tingfei accuses the National Palace Museum here of ignoring copyright infringements by a Chinese state-run company. In defense, the museum director said that legal action has already been brought against the Taiwanese intermediate that supplied the images. The images in question were originally obtained by Taiwan Dei Media in cooperation with the National Palace Museum. They can only be released if both sides grant permission, but the museum accuses Dei of violating this agreement, first when it offered them to China's Jojo AV Publishing Company for a documentary. We have brought legal action against Dei. The documentary was broadcast on CCTV in 2009, leading to an apology from Jojo, which claimed to not have been aware of the copyright violation. Nevertheless, Jojo has used the images again. Jojo was told that De Yi did not receive authorization from the National Palace Museum, but still used the images to publish a book and an app. Chen suspects that the museum overlooks infringements by Jojo because it is a Chinese state-run company overseen by China's Taiwan Affairs Office. Jojo has been the instigator while De Yi is only acting as an intermediate. Could it be that when China violates copyrights, you don't dare take action? Museum director Feng Mingju said she wasn't aware of the connection to the Taiwan Affairs Office, and that if any infringement took place, the museum will request compensation and the removal of offending products.